Good morning, Flames. How are you? If you're new here, welcome to Sophia Land Gymnastics. My name is Sophia, and if you're a returning flame, good to have you back. So happy to have you here today. Today I'm gonna to be trying, if you saw my video last week, I already gave you a little spoiler. I'm gonna be trying a side aerial perpendicular on the beam. I don't know what this is called. If someone knows the name of it, let me know in the comments. I should go check the code. There has to be a name. Someone had to have done this first. I know it's been done in competition. Let's get to it right away. Forewarning, I'm a little bit off today. I woke up with a bit of a cold. It's crazy and amazing to me how connected the emotional and um, physical body. I've had to let go of something in my personal life recently. And although I know it was the right thing to do, it still has taken a toll on me, I guess. This morning, sure enough, wake up with a cold. But I made a commitment to come in here today, and today's my filming day, and I made a commitment to myself and to you guys to get this video out. So although I'm not at my best, I will still give it my all today. I wanted to also share with you guys what I did this morning to feel a little bit better. I woke up with a sore throat and just like, didn't feel good, you know, run down. Hot tea and honey, like getting back to basics. Traditional, duh, but like it's sometimes overthought. Like we jump to like medicines right away. And I also um, filled up my water bottle with water and a little bit of sea salt. I've already drank an entire one of these and I'm on my second. Probably gonna have to pee a lot during this video. And last thing I did this morning was some breath work. I just came across breath work a couple weeks ago when I was in California and I've always heard great things about it, but I had never done it and when I tried it in Malibu I was like holy crap this is like some key to some craziness that our bodies can do. There are different types of breath work. There's like energizing and then there's relaxing. Um, there are a bunch of different types that you can find on YouTube and try. The one I did this morning was energizing and I felt so much better. Like I felt like I had, had like six cups of coffee when I had just done like 30 minutes of breath work out in the sun. So there are my healing mechanisms for this morning. I know you guys want to see this video. I want to go start doing gymnastics so let's get into the gym. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog. Hello, I am really warming up my splits because I feel like I'm going to need a definite 180, if not more, needle kick. So I need to do back leg up too. Ouch. I am not as good as this one. <laughs> Breathe, Sophia. Oxygen to your muscles. Breathe. Breathe through it. Honestly, it was easier when my coach just sat on me because I didn't have to torture myself. All right. I have four inches of landing opportunity. I have never even tried this type of aerial on the floor. And funny story, one of my corrections doing aerials on beam was always to make it longer. So I'm literally just tearing apart all of the corrections my coach has helped me make in the past couple years. Sorry coach, forgive me. Let's see just how long my aerial is. My normal aerial. So if this is the beam, how do you even start, bro? I don't even know how to freaking. I love these challenges because my first try, I'm always like, oh, this is impossible. <laughs> and it's great to see the progression of not only doing the skill, but believing slowly but surely in myself throughout these vlogs. Okay, just two feet less. Like a gainer, but forward. You just bend and kick. Bend and snap. I feel like the timing's a little different than a regular aerial, or maybe not. Let me watch this again. This little girl is amazing. This is so interesting. So if you watch her knee, it's right on top of her foot, actually going back, and that's what's keeping her in the same place. Her knee is right on, stays right on top of her foot as she pushes. And mine is, my knee is ahead of my foot, which is what I've been working to make better in my normal aerial sunbeam. So yeah, just totally ruining all, ruining all the progress I've made, it's fine. But this is really interesting because we talked about this in the aerial tutorial in last week's video about how to send you forward. You need to think about where your weight is on, from your knee all the way up. Um, compared to where your foot is on the floor. And so this is that same thing, but not trying to go forward this time, trying to go kind of back almost. So let's try it. Well, this is off to a great start, guys. All 
All right, let's take it on beam, I'm ready. My opinion, it's always best to have a skill down on the line on the floor before you try it on beam. But for the purpose of this challenge, we're gonna take it on the beam today. All right, let's go. With mats So with mats. Office staff is watching me just laughing right now. <laughs> I feel like this is a more of a commitment to, am I ready to fall on my face? <laughs> Why am I making this harder for myself? Okay, I'm actually going for it, I promise. Do you guys ever promise your teammates you're gonna go for a skill? <laughs> Gosh, we're so dramatic. It's hard because you're literally, you don't have your heel to push off of, it's just the ball of your foot because you don't have room for your whole foot. Okay, I'm fine. Fine, got this. You must fall in order to then stand up. Not, that was not it. My face was that close to the beam. Nope, nope, nope. Mental block. I feel like I can't get my foot under fast enough. Comment below any tips you guys would have for me. Would happily appreciate them. I need like two more inches, a little more back. Okay, I just tried a few more on the floor. This skill is actually so hard because you can't use your heel to get an extra push. Like, you have to stay on your releve and all your push comes through that, which I guess, is it much more push that you get through your heel on the floor? I don't know, it feels like it, it feels different, but that's the challenge for me is understanding how to, how to let go of like having my heel to push too. I'm gonna really focus on kicking and bring my weight back. That's my biggest thing right now. Okay, I'm gonna give it one last try, guys. <laughs> And even if I don't land it today, it's okay. Sometimes um, I get like too determined and that's when I force skills to happen too soon and that's when I get hurt. So having learned from my mistakes when I've hurt myself, getting, having too much fire within, let's say, um, I'm gonna do one more and I'm actually still pretty proud of myself I didn't even have it on the floor before this, so. So. Maybe I'll post a short when I get it. Patience is a virtue in gymnastics, right? No way. No way. No way. <laughs> Isn't that funny when you stop forcing things, how they just come to fruition? I just focused on driving my arms harder down that time. And that's what did it for me. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> All right, last one, we call it a day. What do you say? Okay, stop, stop, that's enough, stop. All right, what a day, what a vlog. That was an interesting one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm not sure what skill to try in my next vlog, so help me out, comment below. XOXO, see you in the next video. May the fire be within you. And if you wanna learn an aerial, check out this aerial tutorial that I posted last Sunday. See you guys.